Hey everybody and welcome back to Blue Stinger. In the last part, we went through one road and got the car and went to the bank and got some stuff in the whorehouse. <laughs> and in this part, we're going to continue this next part of the game. So we're going to start off by going down this hall. And in here we have a dressing room, it appears yeah. so. Yeah. Pick up these clothes. We should change. I can't fit into a size M. I guess you'll have to go without changing. Do you think it's safe? If not, we'll have to find a bigger size. I found something in my pocket. Alright, so now that we put on the clothes, or at least Elliot did, dogs is too fat to fit in one of those suits, and we found a lounge key in our pocket, so let's go use that. I believe it works on this door. Yep. So here's the lounge, obviously, and we have lots of places to eat, but what's this over here? Yeah. This Santa's outfit is size LL. Hey, what are you suggesting? It's perfect for you. I guess I have no choice. It suits you. When you have a kid, I'll visit you from the chimney. That day might come soon. Alright, so, now we got dogs in a Santa outfit, and yes, we will be using dogs, and he will be in a Santa outfit when we use him, so. If you're wondering why we just got this crazy new clothes change thing, it's because we're going to be, um going into a new area but it's, it has to be completely sterile so we have to make sure that we're clean otherwise it won't let us in and that means changing into clean clothes so and here we have more of these plates that I was talking about earlier uh, we're gonna go ahead and buy a couple um, get a pasta plate for dogs and Elliot because we're gonna want to have some more life coming up here and these are cheap so we're gonna buy those and we already have a steak plate I'm just gonna use it on Elliot and it's quite expensive to buy so I'm not gonna buy another one uh, even though I still have all this money. But, uh, not weapons. Okay, food. And we're gonna go ahead and use the steak plate on Elliot. Alright, so now that we have that, we're gonna use uh, some more plates on Elliot, and then we'll do dogs, so I'm gonna go do that. Alright, so we got all that done. Our health is greatly boosted, quite generous, so let's head on in here and a bathroom. Nice. Look at that! It's a bathtub! Cool! What do you mean, cool? We stink. It's the smell which lures out those bastards. Really? Of course I'm joking, idiot. <laughs> Watch it, you old coot. Careful whose leg you're pulling. Stop babbling! Let's go! I'm gonna take a bath! Nothing's gonna stop me. <laughs> what do you'll do if the monster attacks you while you're butt naked? I'll fight back butt naked! Stop whining! Let's jump in the tub. I'm not sure if this is such a good idea. Hey, in the tub we go! Taking a bath in the middle of a battlefield. <laughs> that cool. Well, I guess. Hey, you're more macho than I thought. Shut up. This might be the last bad I can take. I see. To the door. Alright, so now that we're all squeaky clean, let's get out of here because there's nothing left that we have to do here, really. Uh, let's backtrack a little bit back to the main lobby, and I don't think we missed anything over here. No, it might have been a hassy, but apparently not. So, in here we have pretty much all we need to do, so we're all cleaned up, ready to go. We can enter this hallway, and since we're sterile now, we can actually go through this little clean check place. Passed. You are now permitted to enter. Yeah, 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 we're all clean. Permitted to enter. We got it. Alright, so here we have, like, the lab, I guess, and this place is quite confusing at times because 
It's just a lot of stuff you have to do, a lot of keys you have to get, and I actually get confused quite a bit uh, going through here, but let's just see how well we do. I'm going to buy some railgun ammo because uh, if memory serves me right, we are kind of low on it, and we're going to want to have some for later. And in here we got uh, some handgun magazines, see we're full, uh, we're full, and full, nice. Okay, so in this next vending machine we have, uh, oh, no have no use to us, we have none of those guns that take ammo for those. So in this vending machine we have some other guns, we already have the rail gun, we already have the Gatling gun, and we can't buy this because that's an unlockable weapon, and yeah. Here we have the map we can download if you want to do that, and a save station in case you would like to save your game, which I am not going to do right now. So let's go ahead and continue through here. And yeah, we'll just see how smooth this place goes for us. I know the first thing we're supposed to do is go over here, cause see what's up with this place. Oh my god. It's jelly! It's jelly! And this thing is pretty easy, I suppose. I mean, it only really has one attack, which is if you get too close, it'll occasionally, like, turn its liquid into spikes and will attack you with them. So, you know, close range weapons are dangerous, but at the same time. Oh, there you go, that's this is attack. I couldn't really see it though, the camera was kind of close, but, um. No, it's really not that hard. It just. The thing is, it has a lot of health, so it takes quite a bit of shots, which is why we're going to get out dogs and use the railgun on it, because there's considerably more damage than the handgun. So let's go ahead and blast this thing away. And yeah, we have about five rounds in here, so that should last us. Because we're going to be fighting some other pretty strong monsters in this place as well. And yeah, you can see how much health this thing has. There we go, now it's dead. The monster is holding something! The observation room key, so pretty good. Let me go ahead and reload this since we only have one round in here. Switch back to Elliot so we can move faster and not be Santa Claus. Oh, what's wrong? I feel sick. I think I swallowed some of the monster vomit. Oh, that's not good. Elliot, you look sick. I... I can't talk. Well... We should look for some medicine. Can you walk? Yes. Alright, so we have a problem on our hands. Elliot's followed some of the monster stuffs and he's getting... Use it. He's getting quite sick. Observation room key. This says experiment room. Naughties. Anyway, yeah, Elliot's getting sick, so we better uh, yeah. find a way to remedy that soon. So here we have an oxygen cha oxygen tank, and somebody's stuck in there with little bugs. They're so cute. Anyway, go through here. And we are running short on time already. Man, Blue Stinger really does fly. I swear, time just goes by so fast. And do you want to enter? Yes, and here we have some of those annoying enemies in the entire game. These little, like little bug things that like run around and they take quite a bit of damage actually and and they're pretty fast and they're kind of annoying so I just I really don't like them and they're luckily they don't come back in this uh, in this game so yeah that's a pretty big plus so go ahead and kill these guys and then we have a jumpy monster in here who's pretty much like an evolution of the other jumpy he attacked me through the grating of the other jumpy monsters, so you can imagine my love for them. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and heal up since he's trying to attack us through the fence, which is not a very smart idea considering, you know, it actually worked that one time. And, uh, do we have to heal again? Okay, thank god. Okay, so he's dead. Luckily, they give you a buttload of money, but we don't really need it anymore since we have all that health from the. Er, all the money from the bank. But, um, yeah, so we're running out of air, and I think this might be an instant death place if you run out of air, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through here so we can catch our breath. Because I'd really hate, uh, I'd really hate for us to die right there. Um, kill this guy. Yeah, you can just really see how annoying these guys get. You really can. So we're gonna take our dogs, use this railgun to blast these pieces of shit to kingdom come. Kingdom come. 
Okay, so now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and take Elliot out and heal. Yes. Alright, so now that we're done with that, all healed up and stuff, got our error back, so we can uh, go through here, and I know there's a key. I think I'm gonna pass it. Yep, yeah. here we go. The ventilation room key, so yeah, we're gonna be using this to get into the room. We're gonna hurry up, because we're running out of time here, and I don't want to have to do fancy editing to get this video out under a time limit. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and go up these stairs. The ventilation room is just up here. We're gonna filter out all this gas so we can actually walk in here without having to risk our life and, uh, you know, just be able to see easier, too. Bypass that guy, because I can't stand him, and use the ventilation room key. Get in here, and, yeah, we're gonna turn on this vent, and that is all we're gonna do in this video. I will see you in the next video. We'll continue this part of the game, so see you then.